Hey YouTubers, I'm Tim Townley. We're in this beautiful location here, and if you're anything like me, you're always searching for a way to lighten your load for your travel photography needs. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Peak Design Travel Tripod and to see if it's a good fit for your photography needs. Now, you might waver a little bit on some of the specs here and whether it fits for you. So, let's take a look. This is not a sponsored video and all of the opinions in this video are my own. My goal is to help you make a better purchase decision. So looking at the design of this tripod, you can see that it's small, it's compact, but is it lightweight? Well, that's for you to decide. If you're putting it in your pack, you are still going to feel the weight of this one. This is the aluminum version that I have here and it's 3.44 pounds but you can opt to get the carbon fiber version, which is a little more expensive at 2.81 pounds. So looking at the compactness of it, you can see that it's pretty small at only 15.4 inches. When it's fully extended, you get it to 60 inches, which is pretty good for a compact tripod like this. So starting from the bottom of the tripod, we see that we have these rubber feet that are great for indoors and it doesn't mark up the floor. Then we move on looking at the levers that open up the four sections of the tripod legs here, which makes it super fast, like lightning fast. And then we go on to the main leg where we have two adjustments, one and two. This here is our column adjustment knob, which pulls out and adjusts the main column in the center here. And talking about the main column, you can see at the bottom here, we have a gear hook and a little hidden feature that we're gonna talk about in just a second. Then we go to the main ball head at the top here, which has some really unique features for adjustment and we are also going to talk about how to use that and how it can really benefit your photography. To set up the tripod, it's super simple and lightning quick. All you have to do on all three legs is open up all the levers. Then slide the legs out, keep the legs closed and go around and close all the levers open the legs and you have your tripod set up. So the next thing you have to do is set up your camera so that it's ready to use on the tripod. First thing, pull out your camera, grab your plate, and because this is using Allen keys to attach it, you need to have an Allen key. Make sure that the plate where it says lens is facing where the lens is. Makes sense, right? Once you've got that attached, make sure it's nice and tight. You're gonna take your camera, make sure the lock is off. You're gonna mount it, lock it, and your camera is mounted. So the next thing we need to do is be able to maneuver our camera so that we can compose our shot. You're going to pull out the column adjustment screw, loosen it off, raise the column slightly, tighten the screw back up, push it back in and then you can use the main ring at the ball head here so that you can maneuver your camera and compose your shot however you like. One thing to keep in mind is that once you put the camera on you're not going to have access to that bubble level depending on the size of your camera, how you mount it and all those other kind of configurations. So what I would recommend is just use the internal level that comes with your camera. So you're out traveling, you got your tripod, but you forget something else. Or you just don't need it. You forget your camera. But you do have your cell phone. So you try to mount your cell phone on here and it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite work at all. So we have a hidden feature in the tripod. In the column, you have a hidden phone mount just like that. So we're gonna take that, there we go. And we take our mount, which is 
<laughs> Look at this thing, it's so small and compact. All you do is you open it up and you're gonna take your mount, you're gonna mount it like that. Then you're gonna take your phone that dropped on the ground and all you do is you mount it in place. And there you go, you have your phone, just like that. So as a bonus accessory, you can purchase the universal head adapter that looks just like this one right here. Now to mount it, it's very simple. All you do is you take your favorite Allen key, you're going to lift the column, expose the Allen screw just below, take your Allen key, Once that's done, then you're gonna grab the universal head adapter, put that on, take your Allen key, and put that on nice and tight. Then after that's mounted, you're gonna take your favorite tripod head, just like this one right here, and you're going to mount it like so. If you're interested in this tripod head, you can always use the link above or in the description below. And there you go, you're mounted, tripod head and all. So my final thoughts on this are that I really love this tripod and I use it every day. Now, it is a little bit heavier as an aluminum, but if you're not worried about your budget and you want a little less weight, you can go for the carbon fiber. I actually really love this for the small compact size I don't mind the extra weight. It was easy to put in my carry-on luggage for my recent trip to the Bahamas, and it's been great to me ever since. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button, and why not hit that little bell icon, ding ding, so you can be notified of more videos coming soon. And if you're interested in the Peak Design Travel Tripod, there's a link in the description. It really helps out the video and it doesn't cost you any extra. I hope this video helped you and we'll see you next time.